my friends, and welcome back to Deeply Rooted. I'm your host, Robin Norgren, and I'm here to say I'm still here, and you're still here. And we're choosing to be alive and awake and aware to be able to walk in this world in a way that we can lay our heads on our pillow at night and go, I'm really doing all that I know to do to make this world a better place. So welcome to this podcast where we have conversations about how we can be deeply rooted in our spirit as we have these human experiences. And I'm so glad you're here. Stars, dreams, authenticity, elevated. Helen Keller is quoted as saying, never bend your head, always hold it high. Look at the world and look it right in the eye. What do you offer the world that's from the heart what are your insights your grace your talents sometime throughout the next couple days write a few statements shoot for five or maybe ten statements Little things, big things, characteristics, attributes, things that you know are authentically you, that you bring to the world and to the people in your world. And then walk a little taller in these affirmations. more from my segment entitled Diary of a Montessori Teacher and Creative Entrepreneur. January 20th. In true process art style, which I love, the students took the Kandinsky assignment and made it their own. I love being a witness to all of their beautiful interpretations. I have created more opportunities to be in the playground space, but the problem is we're already experiencing the running around the playground with your friends instead of a nature walk or dancing with scarves. (laughs) Came home and and sewed the holders for February and March's art journal kits. I also did my first reel on Instagram I listed February and March art journal kits on Etsy after creating the marketing pictures, which I love, through PicMonkey. This morning I remembered that the seven day craft club creating challenge begins, so I printed off the workbook. I'm considering creating a kid's sewing club, but I'm open to changing this idea. January 21st. Plan is, on Monday, we talk with a lender. 45 days from our lease date of November 22nd would be October 5th. That's eight and a half months to downsize to a two-bedroom from a three-bedroom, two-bath with a den. What is that going to look like for my business? Year of the Tiger Project was a hit. Anything with watercolor is a hit. Sales have been non-existent on Etsy, even curriculum sales. I got an email for a lower elementary curriculum from someone who purchased September and October. But I stopped because three years worth of curriculum is just too daunting of a task. 
I went through all my art curriculum and organized it in a, on a flash drive. The goal is to start to create reels again on the art lessons done on a budget. Josie did tech for dance program at Queen Creek High School last night. I am planning on a fun Friday owl drawing at school. January 22nd. Fun Friday owls turned out incredible. I found there is an arts and class cra crafts closet that I can start to utilize in the classroom. So I will start researching more 3D art opportunities. Came home, then went into overdrive, listening to the lessons for the crafting creative club class that I signed up for and started to look at the art journal kits and revamp the packaging to give it a more interesting price point. The class has me thinking about possibly doing out school again as well. They gave some great tips on camera angles for teaching art versus craft. I put away all the fabric from the six bunny rag dolls I created and have a clean table to begin to shape these ideas. Josie is in a theater competition today, so we will be out for most of the day. In the meantime, I will categorize the Deep Space Sparkle art lessons and create a list of STEM ideas for the outdoor classroom. January 23rd. Cataloged all the Deep Space Sparkle art lessons to prepare for the kids' art kits. Also created a list of science-related activities purchased on TBT, TPT for ODE and sent my segment of the newsletter to the lead teachers. I wrote up six instruction sheets for the camera series, sewing kits, that I will post next week. Day three of the art kit challenge this evening and creative mastermind group starts tomorrow. I created an option on the physical art journal kits to use a canvas pouch with the theme name hand lettered on the outside with all the contents inside offered at a lower price point. $24.99 for two pouches, $15 for one pouch, $6 for the PDF. Josie was awarded superior in her duo and trio submissions at the theater competition yesterday held at my oldest son's high school, alma mater. So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Some poems from the Eastern mystic called Kabir, and these are excerpts from a book entitled Love Poems from God by Daniel Ladinsky. This poem is entitled, What Kind of God? What kind of God would he be if he did not hear the bangles ring on an ant's wrist as they move the earth in their sweet dance? And what kind of God would he be if a leaf's prayer was not as precious to creation as the prayer his own son sang from the glorious depth of his soul for us? And what kind of God would he be if the vote of millions in this world could sway him to change the divine law of love that speaks so clearly with compassion's elegant tongue saying eternally, saying, all are forgiven. Moreover, dears, no one has ever been guilty. What kind of God would he be if he did not count the blinks of your eyes 
and is in absolute awe of their movements. What a God. What a God we have. This next poem is called The Smart Dogs Ran Off. I sat one day with a priest who expounded on the doctrine of hell. I listened to him for hours. Then he asked me what I thought of all he said. And I replied, That doctrine seems an inhumane cage. No wonder the smart dogs ran off. Last poem is called A Man with Amnesia. With a begging bowl in hand, a man with amnesia knocks on his own door. My guru cured me of that profound illness. God asking God for forgiveness or alms. Well, thanks so much for listening in on Deeply Rooted, the podcast that are all things Montessori creativity and the meaning of life. I would love for you to support the work that I do. And there's a few ways you can do that. You can sponsor uh, my uh, podcast on either Spotify or on Anchor. You can also check out my website, uh, www.robinnorgren.com, where I have um, lots of offerings for you, from um, the one-of-a-kind rag dolls to my art journal kits in PDF and uh, physical product that I send to you, also my creativity workbooks, and also my subscription kits for art lessons. Um, Truly enjoy the work that I do. Love sharing it with you. And if you find value in it, I would love your support.